out and there's no rehearsal. You're gonna have men. You must trust these men and they must trust you. And I don't care if your men like you or your men hate you. Keep your men alive. Keep you alive. What's it like? It's good. You go out and patrol, and you kill a few of them. Then they kill a few of yours. Then you go back to base. Eat. Sleep. Next day, same thing. Before you know it, you're either dead or you're going home. It's good. Excuse me. Lieutenant, Sergeant McNamara. Sergeant. Welcome to the country club. Oh, I wouldn't bother looking for Lieutenant Frick. He left three days ago, three days early. What was the problem? No problem. Well, he called it superstition. What do you call it? I'd call it paranoia. Oh, he had this uh, weird thing, this funny idea that there are people out here trying to shoot his ass. You see that bunker? That's where Frick spent the last two months of his tour and never stepped outside it once. That's officer's quarters. Thank you, Sergeant. Dismissed.
So what do you think he's doing? Getting drunk, or oh, wishing he were home. Well, he writes, don't worry, I'll be home before you know it. Letter to his wife. <laughs> Good thing he's married. Those guys never like to take chances. <coughs> <coughs> you fuckhead, that means we got her. So? There's a gook. Where? <laughs> Where? Where? Hey, don't fuck with me, but sir. Don't fuck with me like that, goddamn you. you do shit in your pants you got your fruit in that bag but sir come on man i know you got it in there i'll trade you two cans of spam for them peaches no way man why don't you take some from that lieutenant stash i mean he's gonna be gone before he can eat it up anyway Nah, he's gonna hibernate in that rabbit hole and then when his tour is up he's gonna pop up like a rabbit yo let me explain to you about the new second Sorry, sir. Sorry. You okay? <laughs> Morning. Um, Joshua Parker. I'm your I'm your radio operator. <clears throat> Morning, Parker. Get all the squad leaders in the squads formed up. Sir? You want <laughs> you want all the squad leaders to form up? Out here. <clears throat> okay, sir. Come on, dress it up. Dress it up! Sergeant Hayes, sir. Welcome to 2nd Platoon Bravo Company. Thank you, Sergeant. Sergeant Rhodes, welcome to Nara. Hey. That sounds like a poem. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, men. Glad to be among you. Since I know we're gonna learn more than enough about each other in the days ahead, we can drop the social stuff and get down to business. What else is there around here? What's your name, soldier? Becerra. Raymond Becerra. Our mission here is to protect the village of Trong Lam. Everything we do is in response to that. We need to be ready for them. If we're to stop the enemy, we'll have to destroy the raiding parties and advance forces. And to stop them, we'll have to cut them off the roots. You talking about taking over Hanoi, sir? <laughs> Not yet. I'm talking about controlling the countryside. HQ says this area is going to get hot and I have to prepare for it. We'll be sending out three patrols a day. Staggered, of course, with different timing and routes every day. Yeah, and I'll be coordinating from in Frick's office, eh? <laughs> hey, shut up. You're going out on one patrol a day. Dismissed. All right, spread out. On the double! Get to your posts. <laughs> McNamara. I want to go over the new perimeter defenses with you. Well, you, you got it all worked out, don't you, Lieutenant? No, at least I'm trying. Oh, well. If PC ever start giving us grades for efforts, I think you're going to do real good. Why don't you just cut the shit, huh? Just cut the shit, and while you're at it, just cut the grass on both sides of that trail short, and you keep it that way. That's right out of the textbook, huh, LT? Yeah, it's worked before. Before wasn't the NOM. But textbooks tell you where to point these uh, M60s into the jungle? Because the book is wrong. They shouldn't be pointing into the jungle. They gotta point them right down Main Street, right down the center of Tom Long. Because that's where Charlie is. He's as thick there as he is in the bush. You better learn that fast. You gotta know that. You wanna be good here.
Okay, Sergeant, what's our target? Well, Roach's patrol have found evidence of a VZ campsite. About two clicks northeast of the village. I figure we set up an ambush, wait and see if Charlie shows up again. Okay, let's move out. things they don't teach you about the jungle at West Point is that when it looks safe, it ain't. for you. Becerra. This thing would have blown. They'd be picking pieces of you out of the trees. Better believe it, Becerra. Now let's get the fuck out of here.
You going out on patrol again, Lieutenant? Every day until we own this district, Parker. Got a job to do. It ain't gonna be much good if you fall asleep on the job, LT. Hey, I'll go get my radio, okay? DC will take him alive. the best way to let the whole fucking countryside know we're coming! Jesus! This is a roach! Torch it!
Schultz. Again, LTA. This is Alpha 62. Do you read me? 62 is down. He's been hit, okay? Get a medevac over here immediately. I'm on fire. Oh! I'm burning! I'm on fire! You'll be okay, all right? Yeah, but I'm on fire! <laughs> all right, let's bomb us! Let's get him to an LC! Come on, move it! Let me cover, dear me. Hold on. How you feeling, Lieutenant? Bored. Well, that may be the case, but uh, why don't you give me five more days in here? You see, your district is heating up, so I need you back there, but I need you back there well. You see, Trong Lam is the only non-VC village in that whole district. <laughs> and it really pisses the NVA off. It's a propaganda embarrassment. Oh, it's a fire base, son. They want to take it back from me, and they want it bad. Major, for us to be more effective out there, we need more men. We need more tactical support. And I know you've heard it a thousand times before, but that's just the way it is. I haven't heard that a thousand times, son. I've heard that a million goddamn times. And I'm going to tell you right now, Lieutenant Knight, I will promise you I will do the best I can for you, and that's all I can promise you. Is there anything else, son? Yeah. You can get me out of here in three days. We'll work on that night. Thanks, guys. Matt. Run that by me again. Basically, there's three stages, you know? First of all, you really get a hold of that baby and get it right where you want it and steady it. Mm -hmm. Take your thumb, get it in and out, hook it around the lips, and then pry that ah. baby open. Doesn't she scream? Yeah, scream. I never heard one scream. Wiggle, you know? Yeah. Okay, next thing. Reach down, grab your needle nose. Get it in there. Grab a hold of that hook. Take it out. Okay, that baby is ready to mount. I can get behind that. I mounted three trout in one season. Two large mouth bass. I didn't know you were that much of a fisherman. Yeah, well, it's a little bit of the angler in me. <laughs> Yes. 
slick, man. Oh no. Look who's back. Well, we didn't, uh, we didn't think you were coming back, you know, you know. <laughs> Thanks for the loan of the book, sir. I, I enjoyed it. Smiles for me today. Got anything for me to eat? Nice talking to you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> What's the matter, Hayes? You always shy away from pretty girls? Shine away. That girl, she and her boyfriend was with this group of Kong. Walked through one of our ambushes. Her boyfriend got zapped. She caught one in the arm. Mangled the shit. Sent her to one of those aid stations, but they couldn't do nothing about that arm. Guess she's going back to work. What do you say to a girl's army shadow? Sir? Parker, don't you ever knock. Sir, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You, you want me to do it again? Just give me the papers. Intelligence came in not more than five minutes ago, sir. There's some heavy fighting up north, and intelligence sees a, uh, a heavy build of a VC strength developing. They say we gotta watch our ass, sir. Numbers? Well, they say the VC could be building up the battalion strength. That's 18 against 200, sir. We gotta get some help in here, you know? You really think so, Parker? Y yes, sir, I do. Well, we can't wait on new men. We can keep building. But what we can do is hit them with a quick strike. Get in there, shoot him up, and get out of there. Is Roach out on patrol? Yes, he is. Tell McNamara and Hayes to get in here. Okay. Get ready for patrol. Hey, Parker. 
Got your cab. Thanks, sir. Okay, we join up in Hayes Patrol at 0800 hours. You'll be point. This is 2-1, Alpha, over. This is 5-2. Tell 2-1 he better come quick. We got a body on the trail, over. Get the location, tell him not to move the body. 5-2, 2-1 says, give me a location, don't touch the body. Checked her out. No booby traps or nothing like that. She's clean. Just fucking dead. Juan Carl Key has been found guilty by the People's Court of aiding the American imperialists in their suppression of the Vietnamese people. This is the justice that will be brought to all who consort with the Americans and aid them in the villainous suppression of our land. Fuck me, this is a form letter. I just wrote her name in it. The fuck are you? I'm fucking airborne. You think you're ready to kill something?
move out. Should have heard from McNamara's patrol by now. Parker, get him on the radio. Five two, this is two one. Over. Five two, this is two one. Over. I'm not getting anything but static, sir. Okay. Five two, do you read me? Spread out and be alert. Five two, this is two one. man's dead. No! Dad! No! Round! You're on the right flank! Mac, you're right, you're right! Got a baby.
Right, they're headed towards Roach. Lieutenant, permission to interrogate. You turn it off, Schultz. It's better enough killing for one day, and you know damn well. You did out there today, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. I believe you know uh, Captain Davies. Good work, Jeff. You don't mind if we uh, look around here? Yeah? Be my guest. Go to your quarters and have a talk, Lieutenant. After you, sir. Interview these two here. Yes, sir. Hi, Sergeant. Now, uh... According to Major Flynn, this action of yours put you guys firmly in control of the countryside. I concur wholeheartedly with the Major's evaluation. Now, off the record, the Major don't know motherfucking shit. You heard what he said. You still got ears? Maybe I'd like to hear some more. Yeah. I want you to hear some more. Hear this. Oh, Jesus, Roach. I was just trying to be helpful. Sit down, Lieutenant. here, I believe, is a setup for a major VC offensive. They want you out of here, Lieutenant. But if you and your man fight like you have been for the last... Sir, you got to understand, we were lucky out there today. Lucky. When I lose men on patrol, no one replaces them. No one. You kill five VC, ten more take their place. But if we really want to get aggressive with the VC, we need more men. You're gonna get him. You're by God gonna get him. Now, why don't you go clean yourself up, Lieutenant? Have a beer. You burned it. Keep your head down, son.
cherries. Wow. Relax, soldier, I'm not the enemy. RTO? Yes, sir. Welcome to the country club. What's your name, soldier? Well, you can call me Greaser, man. I'll ask you once more. It's time you answer with lieutenant or sir behind it. Private Don Pike, sir. How long you been here, Pike? All fucking day, Lieutenant. <laughs> I mean, in Vietnam, let's feed up the Lieutenant. Five weeks, Lieutenant. Your angry Uncle Sam got you, right, Pike? Yeah, shit, no, man. I enlisted. You see, I had a little disagreement over some merchandise with some suppliers back in the States. I put him and his partner out of business. Till the streets cool down, Nam's the only safe place for me, Jack. See, I'm down for the ice. I'm down for the grease. That's why I'm the greaser, man. Lieutenant. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, you know something, Private? No, I mean, safe for you either. We got plenty of killers out here better than you. You want to grease somebody, you do it under orders. You want to take a shit, you do it under orders. And I want you to go to your quarters and unpack. Then I want you to report to Sergeant Roach. I'm putting you out on minesweeping patrol. And that's an order. Dismissed. Hey, Greaser, come here. Give me a hand. Show me a trigger finger, man. Now you hold that down real still and keep it real still. Otherwise, your shit's in the wind. Christ, this shit makes me so nervous. I gotta go take a piss. Back in a flash, bro. Take it off. Here, you saw what I did, right? Next time you get to do it solo, man. You better learn to deal with this shit. Death is the ultimate alarm clock, man wakes you up. Where's Becerra?
supposed to be on patrol right now, but Sarah. Shit. I'm not feeling so good today. Thought I'd just write my mom a letter. You call me Lieutenant. Hey, no problem. What's this? What do you think? It's mine. Get out to your squad. It's time for patrol. Sorry, Lieutenant. I dropped my weapon. Stay! You drop your weapon and can't give it a fuck! You better pray to God it hits me square in the back. Because if it doesn't, you little fuck! Splatter your fucking brains across this goddamn base camp, you understand? Better leave him alone. Fuck you! You better do something now. Stay out of it. I gotta take a piss and a shit, sir. <laughs> Don't forget the wine. <laughs> what I want to know is why whenever Becerra's got to take a leak, he's all nervous and jumpy. And then when he comes back from the leak, he's all calm and serene. I'll get him. Somebody declare a holiday for psychedelic fuckheads? Huh? Oh. Oh, no. No. Oh, fuck. You should have gone home, kid. You were good enough to go home. Please, brothers, don't die. Please wake up. Wake up, Sarah. I get you son of a bitch. Wake up. Wake up, please. God, wake up. Oh, God. All right, his mother, so she's proud of him.
There's going to be an attack. Light. They get up here. Open fire! Fire! Fuck you in the Tiger One. This is Tiger One. What do you need, LZ? Gunship support. We're under heavy fire here. When we reach your fire base, air support is on its way. Just hang in there. Oh, Hurry it up. Welcome to my barbecue, you assholes.
squad and follow me. Show. Sure. Come with me. Roach, to the base camp. You got it, LT. I'll meet you at the village. job, but but what do you think your job is? I'm protecting the village and the people. I don't know, Mac. I'm just following the fucking orders. <sighs> Why, you know something I don't? What's your job, Mac? My job is getting people to change their minds. The only way I figure it, everybody's got a business, you know? Like a farm business, shoe business, manufacturing business. We're in the idea business. That's right. <laughs> we sell ideas. And if you can't get a sale, you know, if, if, if you can't, you know, you can't get place the, the, the right idea in their head. Place one of these in their body. You're gonna change their mind, but hell. Sure makes the neighbors a lot more interested in what we're selling. Scott and Riley, lieutenants. Give me the chair. You uh, heard the news? A VC company ran into. They took the South Vietnamese at Tay Nai, one survivor. Command went for your request, Jeff. Intelligence says the VC are moving through LV East English as we speak. Now, they agree with you. There's a good chance we could stop them with a the first strike. They put the operation under my command. I want to go over the details of my plan with you. Hold on. Your platoon, the second, along with the third, will link up and move in on Charlie's flank here. First platoon will constitute the reserve company and remain at his platoon perimeter. They'll provide mortar support. It's a textbook operation. Where will you be, sir? Oh, here with the first. That's the best way I can control the fire support and movement of the reserve, as well as give access to radios with battalion and alpha company. Even forgetting that that puts you 4,000 meters from the objective, it won't work. Lieutenant, have you been out here so long, you've forgotten the rules of conduct? Sorry, sir, no, but I have been out here long enough to know what will work. <laughs> and what would that be, Lieutenant? A link up between two keyed up platoons is a form of suicide. There's too much room for air, especially since it's the VC's territory. Besides, we know they're coming to us, and to do that, they have to cross this open area. Let's wait. Trap Charlie. The third platoon here to the west, and my platoon here at the east flank. Let the VC come through, we squeeze into death. You could put the first here where they can provide mortar support and still be close enough as a reserve in case it gets too thick for us in the third. Yeah, but that puts a third in your territory. They're not familiar with it. 
No, just inside, sir. We'll send a man over to take him to the position. <clears throat> Scott, you got the third. How does it feel? It's looking pretty good, Captain. It'll make our firepower more effective. All right. That's the way you men feel. It's in your hands now, Jeff. Okay, let's move out. here to their ambush position. What's the matter? I don't know, and I don't like it. Got six cents working overtime. Well, I've survived this long with it. You want me to send someone else? Come on, I didn't say that. What is it then? When was the last confirmed sighting? You just keep your head down. You're thick. Okay, okay. No problem. This is 3 6. Come in, over. This is the third. Where's your man, over? He's on his way to you guys. I've made negative contact with your man. It's too late. The VC are heading in your direction. Out. Shit. Back to Mirror's headed right towards him.
I'll get you in there, man. Come on now. You stay alive. Come on. Secure the area. Joe, cover my ass. Somebody got past us. They're headed for the village. You want to know if we can stop them? Just get them to an LZ. Get them to an LZ now.
I thought it was us they were after! field any day now, you know? Go give me some uh, camouflage bandages. I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that lip. <laughs> They saw they couldn't beat us to take control of the village. That's when they decided to destroy it. No village to fight over, they didn't need to beat us. How long is it going to take to rebuild it? We already have. Find out what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you a postcard. Let you know. Every uh, couple of two, three years. <laughs> I'm going to do another tour. <laughs> yeah. There you go laughing again. You're going to split your lip. <laughs> You're crazy. You know that. You're crazy. Funny thing is... Hey, kid. You were a good kid, that's why you're going. Welcome back to the country club. <laughs>
watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.